Signs and Symptoms of a Bad Torque Converter A torque converter is an internal fluid coupling that transfers rotating power from the prime mover, for example, an internal combustion engine, to the rotating load. The torque converter is used in vehicles with automatic transmissions to connect the power source and the load. It can be very costly to replace a torque converter that is bad or damaged. In this video, I will show you how to identify a torque converter that is failing and what it will cost to replace it. We are also going to consider the common symptoms you will notice. A slipping transmission when you accelerate is the most obvious sign of a bad torque converter. Other symptoms include rough idle, rough acceleration, and transmission noises. Sometimes your car will not move if the converter is damaged. 6 Most Common Symptoms and Signs of a Bad Torque Converter 1. Transmission Slippage The transmission slips while accelerating is a common sign of a defective torque convert. This can be felt when the engine revs up in gear but does not accelerate. To detect a slippage transmission, you will need to feel the car. The torque converter must create pressure within the system to move the vehicle or to propel your car forward. If it does not, it could slip when you accelerate. 2. Rough idling Another sign of a bad torque converter is rough idle. It could also be caused by a bad torque converter if your idle feels a little jumpy and you have difficulty adjusting the throttle. A damaged torque converter can create unintended pressures within the torque converter that could cause rough idle. 3. Rough acceleration Defective torque converters can also cause rough acceleration. This can be caused by different pressures and the fact the torque converter slips. You may feel like you're experiencing rough acceleration. Check your RPM meter and see if the speed jumps when you accelerate. A faulty torque converter could be the reason. 4. Car won't turn in reverse or drive. A damaged torque converter may be responsible for your car not moving in reverse or driving. A car that doesn't move in its gear can be caused many things. It should be appropriately diagnosed before a professional mechanic replaces it. 5. Transmission Overheating When the torque converter slips while driving, it can cause excessive heating of the transmission fluid. The transmission will be significantly damaged if the torque converter slips. You may also have temperature sensors on your dashboard that flash when the transmission control unit light illuminates. This indicates that the torque converter is overheating or slipping. 6. Transmission Noises You should check if you hear or feel strange noises from the torque converter when accelerating and idling. Listen in the middle car to check if there are any unusual sounds or knocking. Before replacing the torque converter, raise the car if you hear any unusual noises. Torque Converter Function the torque converter is the unit that transmits power from an engine to the transmission gears. A torque converter is a unit that contains transmission fluid. It has a turbine-like fan inside. It rotates more, creating more pressure inside the unit. This creates more power for the engine and transmission. If you have two fans and turn one fan, the other will start to spin, but not at the same speed as the other fan. This is exactly how a torque converter operates. This allows for a smooth power transfer between the engine, the wheels, and the engine. Let's now take a look at four common torque converter problems that you might experience. But, before I continue, please take a moment to like and share this video to support the channel. Subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you get updated when I upload new videos. There are some common issues with torque converters. The torque converter is a basic part of older vehicles and can fail in a few cases. Sometimes, you can find inexpensive replacements for torque converters. In these cases, it is not worth disassembling the unit and replacing individual parts. It's much cheaper and faster to replace the entire thing. 1. Bad Torque Converter Bearings The most common problem with torque converters is worn bearings. While this does not cause slippage or other issues to the transmission, it can make the transmission sound like a bearing. You should check your transmission fluid if you hear any bearing noises. You will most likely find metal parts in a damaged torque converter bearing. 2. Torque converter seals damaged. 
A defective seal in the torque converter can cause transmission fluid to leak from the torque converter, and the pressure inside it will be lost. Slippage, overheating, and other unusual symptoms could result from low pressure in the torque converter. This is the most common problem with a damaged torque converter. 3. Plate for torque converter clutch plate faulty A torque converter has several clutches. The torque converter should not be locked in an idling or drive gear, and the transmission must be released. Other symptoms include slipping or rough acceleration due to a faulty torque converter clutch. 4. Faulty Torque Conversion Clutch Solenoid The solenoid of the torque converter clutch is a common component that can fail in an automatic transmission. The solenoid valve regulates the hydraulic transmission's fluid pressure, which is then transferred to the lockup clutch. You may experience slipping, overheating, and rough acceleration. How to test a torque converter You can't do much to check the torque converter without removing it. There is an easy way to inspect the torque converter for wear. This is how I check for problems in the torque converter. 1. Let the engine warm up before you start it. You should first start the engine. Then, let the transmission oil warm to approximately 40 degrees. This can take some time and is why it is vital to test the temperature of your transmission oil with a scanner. Once the transmission oil has warmed up, it's time to move on to the next step. 2. Move shifter into gear. You can now try to shift the drive gear. Listen carefully for any noises coming from the torque converter. The torque converter should propel the car forward with a light touch on the accelerator pedal. Shift between the drive and sports gears to check if the torque converter makes any other sounds. You should move on to the next step if everything is fine. 3. Test drive. It's now time to accelerate the car. Pay attention to the speedometer and tachometer. The torque converter may be slipping if the vehicle revs up rapidly but does not accelerate. Older automatic transmissions can slip slightly when you accelerate, but if your car has been around for a while, you should know what to do. But if unsure, have your vehicle tested by a mechanic to determine if it makes any noises or feels slipping. Torque Converter Location The torque converter is located between the engine and automatic transmission, see here. You must first remove the engine and transmission from your vehicle to diagnose it properly. By removing the cover plate, you can inspect the torque converter on some older American cars. The torque converter is sealed, so you won't see much with these covers. I recommend removing the torque converter from the transmission to diagnose the problem correctly. What is the average torque converter replacement cost? The average cost of replacing a torque converter is $300 to $2,500 depending on the car model and labor costs. A new torque converter replacement cost is between $100-$400. The labor cost of replacing the torque converter is $200 to $2,000. Sometimes, the transmission must be taken apart to inspect, or replace the torque converter which is why the labor cost is very high. I hope this video is helpful to you. If it was, please don't forget to like. Share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for informative videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.